Hi, today we're going to be looking at the clarinet note G. G, a lot of students like to play G because they don't have to hold or press down any of their fingers, but we have to have still some control about where our hands go. G is the second line note from the bottom. So as you recall, we had our E, which is the bottom line note. We had our F, which is the bottom space note. And now we have our G, which is the second line note. So it looks very similar to E, but we have to be careful not to play it as an E. We're going to be playing it as a G. And when we play G, we don't press any of our fingers down on the keys. But we still have our fingers in the same area that we were playing our E and our F. So we don't look at our G note and go, oh great, this is a great opportunity for me to just hold our instrument like this. We want to keep our right hand thumb under. We want to keep our left hand close to where we had our other two notes, uh, E and F, but just don't press anything down. So I'm going to be looking actually at our number five, our song five called Up and Down in um, Accent on Achievement. And there we see all three notes. We see our E and our F and our G. So let's play that together. And I'm going to be using the metronome again. It helps us to keep a nice good beat, especially when we have our rest. Make sure that you count four beats between uh, our notes in our resting areas. Keep practicing. Notice what the difference is between E, F, and G as you're playing. Keep your lips in a nice embouchure, almost smiling inside your instrument. Lots of air. Have fun with the clarinet. See you next time.